this is a perfect stage for us to just confess our belief in Jesus Christ and let people know that you can, first off, football, the mentality of football, you, some people think that you can't have that mentality, love Jesus Christ, love your fellow man, and then go out and compete hard on the field. That's just totally not the case. Jesus Christ is the center of my life. Um, every day, you know, starts off with him. Uh, I would like for our players to see Jesus Christ through me with how I deal with all situations on a day-to-day -day basis. I felt that there was some type of destiny in the coaching profession uh, at an early age. I just knew that I loved sports and I couldn't play it forever and I just felt like coaching was the next best thing to it. I can uh, recall in the fifth grade, you know, your teacher asks you what you want to be. Uh, at that time I wanted to be a high, a high school coach and a teacher. I had great uh, role models for teachers and of course as coaches and I thought that's, that would be the life that I wanted to live. Since then it changed, as I went up through the ranks it changed a little bit. I wanted to be a college coach and then after a while I set my sights on the NFL. I've been in football all my life. I grew up in East Texas, a big Dallas Cowboys fan. I can, my, one of my worst memories is uh, Bart Starr sneaking over, uh, you know, in the Ice Bowl when the Packers beat the Cowboys. Uh, I have all type. I'm from a town that my high school team scored 820 points in one season. I have those vivid memories. There's just so many. It definitely goes back to my belief. Uh, my relationship with Jesus Christ.